Okay, just uh, like I, I've had my chiropractic degree for 30-some years uh, and have learned a few things over the years. We lived near Seattle. Um, I can't remember the name of the little town, around Bellingham or something. Real pretty place. Uh, glad I don't live there anymore. like that I did live there for a while. Uh, and our neighbor's wife came over to visit one day, and she said, I think Richard's dying. And I said, wow, now Richard was her husband. Um, I, I think that's obscure enough. And uh, I said, what's going on? She said, well, two weeks ago he we went to the dentist, and he had uh, a tooth taken out, had uh, painkillers, and, and he's been constipated ever since. And I thought, well, <laughs> that'll kill you. So I walked over to their house, and I, I looked at him. He was gray, gray. You know how people get gray just before they die, or weeks before they die sometimes? I looked at him, and I said, well, <laughs> I said, what I've always known about you seems to be true. Uh, you're full of shit. <laughs> I said, listen to me real carefully here. I said, we've gone a while without a bowel movement. You seem to be getting sicker and sicker. I said, you need to go to the, to the drugstore and get an enema bag. Uh, put either a tablespoon of salt in the enema water or the juice of a lemon. Uh, introduce the water. Get in the bathtub, lay on your left side, introduce the water. And uh, let it be in there as long as you can. And uh, get your system cleaned out. You know, get it moving again. And he was horrified. He said, I will never do anything like that. I would never consider it. And I said, okay, that's an option. I said, but let me tell you the truth. If you do it, tomorrow morning you'll be on my back porch on your knees praying to me like I'm a god. I said, it'll happen that fast. I said, this, this stuff works. Well, the next day he came over to the house and he was a lot less gray. He was moving around, which he hadn't done in a few days. I don't know how long. Uh, and he said, you know, he said, I'm still pretty weak. He said, getting down on my knees would he said, would tax me. He said, getting back up uh, would not be a possibility right now. He said, but by God, I'm better, a lot better. And I said, well, thanks for following my instructions. There are natural things that people can do. Uh, enemas, uh, you can find enema bags anywhere in America, but honest to Christ, try to find one in England. <laughs> I guess they don't get constipated there. I was looking for an enema bag at one point in England, uh, when I went into the hospital for gallbladder, uh, and they wanted to take it out, and I refused to let them have my gallbladder. I still like it. I, I think about it from time to time. I still like it. Uh, and I got on the painkillers and started getting constipated. I said to my wife, go get an enema bag. And I went into the bathroom of my semi-private room and uh, performed the deed and uh, got out of the hospital in a couple of days. Still have my gallbladder, whether it's uh, from doing enemas or not, I don't know. But I believe in them. They seem to work. They get rid of headaches, of all the odd things, uh, especially if they're with a little bit of lemon juice or uh, salt water. Thanks for listening to a shitty subject. <laughs> www.micpeakperformance.com